Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tony from Lomo Paintball. Today, I am here to bring you Uncle Mark's anti-rollout widgets. All right, guys, so like I just said, um, Mark did actually 3D print these anti-rollout widgets they're called you've seen them on palmers you've seen a couple guys on the internet that have also 3d printed these things you're looking at them like what are those these actually sit between the marker and the barrel of the gun and they're meant to stop a paintball from rolling down your barrel so in essence this is a 3d printed ball detent uh, these have been known to be used on autocockers angels Old school markers where originally there weren't dual ball detents where they had problems with the actual ball rolling down and out the barrel before you could even get a shot off. And this is why we're here today. I'm not here to sell these to you. I'm here to see if these things actually work. Like I said, they're dirt cheap to 3D print. So Mark printed off a bunch of them as you can see down here in the tech mat. And uh, we are going to take these things outside, put them in an autococker. We're going to shoot them. Or are we going to use an autococker, Mark? If that's what's available. Okay, yeah, put them in an autococker. We're going to see if they actually work. We're going to see if they affect the velocity. These are nowhere near, you know, meant to take uh, over, like using a, a certain sized freak bore barrel. These are just help to, you know, the rollout, the, the rollout incidents from autocockers, angels, and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to take these out back. We're going to throw uh, old Mark's 3D printed widgets in a gun. And we're going to test these bad boys. So we're going to see uh, how they turn out. And uh, you'll see it soon. Here we go. And if you want to try them yourself, we'll put a link in the description where you can download the file to uh, print your own. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, we're not here to make a sales pitch. We're just here to do an experiment and see if these things actually work. And like Mark just said, he'll put a link uh, below. And you can print them if you have a 3D printer at home. All right, guys. Now that I am outside at our indoor here in Clinton Township, I'm outside at an indoor. Yes, you heard that correct. I'm gonna test out Mark's 3D printed widgets where you can find the file below that Mark stole from somebody else. So first off, I'm gonna shoot this autococker without any widget on the inside. We're gonna see if it makes a difference in accuracy or velocity. I have a chrono in my other pocket. We're gonna test it out. And without further ado, let's get this thing done. Woohoo! Wow, it's so nice out here. It's like a sunny day in California. It is. It's beautiful. Wow, it's nice and windy. By the gutter. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I can't even see if this screen's on or not. No idea. It's an autococker. They just work. No way. All right, so the screen is on. Here we go. So this is without a widget. Chronoing in. Oh, see? Did you see that? That's why you need a widget. Did it drop out? It did. No, it, the first one did. Anyways, chronoing in at 307, 330. Woo! We're cruising. 290, 300, 312, 306. Okay, right. so around 300 without the widget. Around 300 or so, a little bit over without the widget. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw one of these bad boys in. Well, let's shoot at the sign. Let's see how the accuracy is, too. Can you hit the... Of course, I can't see it, so... Oh, yeah. I hit the first one. So cool. All right. I don't want to shoot too far beyond the, the tree line. Yeah. So I'm going to put this widget in here, and we're going to see if this actually helps contain the paintball if uh, anything improves accuracy or velocity so let's see pull a little widget out got my widget are you gonna use a white one or a black one i don't know it's the same pla uh, material so it shouldn't matter same file just... i'm gonna use a black one oh. okay that's racist no way wait that's affirmative action so i'm wait. gonna put this I don't right know. in here mark yep okay Nice and flat. I got my goggles on. <laughs> Looking down the barrel of a loaded paint <laughs> bomb marker. Lucky I got my goggles on. I gotta make sure, yep, it's nice and flat in there. Boom. Chakalaka. So let's see. All right. I don't see any paint falling out. 
There's definitely not paintballs falling out, which is nice. Honestly, the velocity is fluctuating all over the place. Um, so I don't think it has any effect on velocity, but I do think that there aren't any paintballs rolling down my barrel. So that's a very positive thing. How's yeah. the accuracy? It's honestly, I feel it's better than it was with the original. This is a bigger bore barrel. Obviously guys, this is a stock die barrel. This is not a free kit. So I wanted to show, obviously the first paintball did roll out of my barrel without the widget. But with this in, I don't see any paintballs rolling out of the barrel, guys. Very, very nice. I, uh, well, hold on. Now that I shot it a bunch, Mark, yeah, I'm gonna put my barrel, like. hold on. I'm gonna put my barrel cover on. I'm gonna turn this bad boy off. And I wanna see the actual condition of the widget now. Is it even still in there? Is it in pieces? Let's take a little look. Now a paintball fell out, but obviously the barrel came off. Air is off, hopper is off. It's in there still. Ah, he lost his finger. No, it's in there still. And uh, I have one of the three fingers still left on this, guys. So once again, this was just a test. It wasn't a selling point. There is still one little prong on here. The other two prongs shot out because it was 3D printed. Um, Palmer Pursuits does sell uh, metal ones, but they also, after time, you are gonna run over the same issues. If you guys wanna print one of these yourselves, Auto Cockers Angels Old School Guns, Mark will put in the description below the link. More than welcome to 3D print it. And this was just a test run today, guys, of a uh, 3D printed anti-rollout widget. So? Grab a, grab a paintball and see how tight the paintball is going through the, okay. out the fingers. Just so people can see, like, is it bigger or smaller than the ball by itself? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. That'd be nice here. Ding, 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 ding. That'd be nice. Don't, don't, don't break the cocker. All right, so what's Mark saying is the diameter of the paintball going into the actual widget itself is, oh, it's actually very nice. It's actually really good, like, you see that? Yep. Can you see that? So it's about the right size. Yeah, right yeah. Itself. It looks like a, it's like a planet, Mark. <laughs> the ring it's like Saturn no it actually fits really nice anyways that was actually uh, something good to know uh, that's probably why I broke the fingers because it actually it's pretty tight it's not it's not too terrible it's like Saturn you like it I do okay nice so guys anyways thanks for watching normalpaintball.com online inside. store we're going back inside jerkyden.com see you guys later widget out all right guys now that you just saw us shoot them i want you guys put in the comments below how do you think we shot with and we shot without uh do you think it made a difference did it definitely help with the ball rollout um, problem on the auto cocker uh so once again link to print these at home if you want them will be in the description below don't forget to go to lomopaintball.com check out our online store and go to the jerkyden.com and buy some of the best beef jerky in the game once again uncle mark's 3d printed anti-rollout widgets. See you later, guys. And buy a free kit if you're serious about proper paint sizing. Almost paintball.com free kit.